Beware, you're in for a scare. From the pages of R.L. Stein's best-selling books comes a brand new series of Goosebumps videos. Videos that will creep you out, freak you out, or simply make you laugh your head off. Hey guys, it's been a while since we had a nice little rewrite. So yeah, we're going to do Goosebumps rewrite even though I don't really want to, but Paparina did it. Why not actually do a spin on it myself? So let's do this. Legends of Lost Legends Remix. So first things first, we're going to start exactly the way as the book started. Yes, I'm going to stay to the book, but also use all the additives that is in this. So, hmm, you know what? I'm going to do something even interesting, too. It's like I should do it. So first things first is they are at camp. OK, yeah, so they're in Brovania. <laughs> bros, 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 bros. <laughs> and basically. Dad tells a story. Dad actually is pissed off by the kids. They go to sleep. Of course, you know, fire by kerosene. Oops. And let's just say that maybe even that fire might have actually started the interesting part of being like, hmm, I foretold they would be coming. Let's let's see if they're actually worthy for, of what they want. <laughs> so then all of a sudden you have a messed up snowstorm that happens. Yes. And of course, it's like now I don't know which one I'm gonna do. I would say let's just bring some Vikings up in this. So he's a, I was already thinking about bringing some Vikings. So we have Vikings of Ivan and Arog or something. They both come in. Of course, this guy and it, they they try to close it, but all of a sudden it's just no, they can't do it. So they have no choice but to come out. And as soon as they come out the snowstorm just ceased a little bit and they see the two vikings and it's like so are you the ones who are looking for what you want to seek i don't know if i want to bring the dad at being this <laughs> it's like yeah i should i shouldn't i don't know let's do it anyways yeah so the dad actually is follow is with them he's like i seek it and the two children are with him being like yes we would like to aid our dad and here we go so they they are escorted with the two Vikings, and then all of a sudden, while they're walking, eventually, by magic, you will see a forest just appear. It's like they're walking right into a forest, and it's like, what the frick? <laughs> and then all, hmm, you know, oh well, I missed it, but yeah, we need to put Silver Dog in here somewhere. So, yes, yeah, let's say Silver Dog actually might have been a part of it beforehand. But anyways, so they go into the fantasy island, not fantasy island, um, the fantasy forest. And Ivan is basically just escorting them along with Erog and they get to Havana. As soon as they get to Havana, Ivan and Erog just disappear. They just walk away. And then now is Havana saying, you seek what you want to seek for that you have to prove yourself and they prove that they, they have to do the whole entire thing, but it's time they're dad. So the messed up part is like their dad completely suck at it, but the kids actually is good at it. So the dad doesn't have no idea that all this is freaking fantasy, AKA magic. Meanwhile, the kids figured out it was magic. They see the eggs that turns into it actually gets mice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And they're swarming. And of course they get, they both get two sticks and you know, it makes more sense that the dad actually just wandered off. <laughs> the dad is just wandered off and like, oh, I can do this thing. And he doesn't really, he wants the kids to help him. But at this case, he doesn't really care for them to help. Yeah. And this version is like, the kids already did wrong in the first place and doesn't even know how to help him. So frick it. He's doing it all by himself. So he's doing it all by himself while they, we get to watch the kids and see how the kids play. So first things first. Yeah, they found out that the freaking mice are actually nothing. <laughs> Heck, we could even go to the part of where they slapped the mice and it turns out the eggs that they came out of as soon as they just used the sticks to... They're just nothing but stones, shiny stones. 
So they just kept on going with their business. And then all of a sudden, there's just many things. And of course, you do have Luca just showing around and they're like, oh, actually, you know what? Because Luca, we're we're going to use Luca for something else. But it's like, basically, maybe even Luca actually goes at the dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then after that, you have the big cats, I think. Yeah, the big cats are next after that. I think we should add some more detail. So, yeah, because there's it's magical now. So the next thing that they find is that they see some fogginess that shows up. And then all of a sudden, there's lots and lots of vines and stuff like that. And the vines keep touching them. And now it's trying to actually keep them at steel and dragging them under. But of course, the good news is that, well, they figured something out. That if the previous ones were just nothing, they used all their might to and as soon as they do that it turns out the vines were not even there at all that it was just nothing but mist yeah it was again a fantasy magic so they continue to go on and then we get to the big fat cats the two big cats the good news is that one of them actually got the silver the shiny silver ones yeah it's like one of them i'll say i I'll say Marissa this time. I'll say Marissa. And she got the two shiny stones, two out of a few of them. And as soon as she sees the two cats, and the cats actually had her brother and about to eat her brother, she threw one of the stones at one of the cats and whew, it dissipated. It just disappeared. Threw one at the other one, whew, dissipated too. So then all of a sudden, they now see from the the freaking jungle, the forest area, that there is a new freaking thing that shows up. There's something that already formed that came out of nowhere, which is like an open door. Not really open door, just an entrance. And they walk out of the entrance and there is the cabin. They see white wolf, I mean white you no know, silver dog, and they follow silver dog. Meanwhile, we actually have the dad who is just straight up running for it. Yeah, he's just running for it. <laughs> he's just straight up running for it. And Luca, uh, well, in quotations, Luca, bestial form, is chasing after his ass. <laughs> and he's just straight up running for it. And then all of a sudden, Luca, the bestial form, and Silver Dog fuse into one entity. And then all of a sudden, the entity just revealed a human form, just glowed and turned to a human form. And he's walking. Meanwhile, the dad is running right into the cabin be like, oh, God, oh, God, what, what, who, what, what, who, what? Yeah. Meanwhile, the two kids are just compuzzled as they are. They know some sense, but it's like they're pretty sure things are mirages. So so as they all go into the cabin, the kids actually try to do something to the freaking Luca poking at him and stuff It's like stop i'm real <laughs> it's like you guys have went through the test to see if you actually are worthy for what you seek and well of course he actually gives the kids the eternal egg of truth oh and they're like no 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 we're trying to help our dad and it's like your dad i kind of know what you're seeking you are seeking something that is not destined for you like what Yes, but the way you actually did the test, you passed. Of course, everyone right now is saying, what? 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 Yeah, because, well, the dad actually didn't do it the right way. <laughs> Since he didn't do it the right way, well, it turns out he gets to have the legend of the lost legend. And he tells them where it is. But he t actually tells the kids to... Hold on one second. <laughs> yeah, so he just holds the kids one second and allow the dad to go and find it. And as soon as he walks, he actually sees a bunch of wanderers just, you know, it's like shh, the wind shows up again. The still snore happens. He walks. He is actually finds the wanderers and they're like, so you want it now? <laughs> And he's like, yes, I seek it. I would like to have it. And he's like, okay, here you go. And they gave it to him and they just quickly just run for it. They all run for it. And the dad starts reading it. And as soon as they read it, 
Actually, no, 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 no. Backtrack, backtrack. Sorry, but sorry, because I want to do an extra gimmick on this. So there's a bunch of wanderers and a bunch of wanderers are right, you want it now? And he's like, yes. So there's one person who has the book and he's been reading it nonstop as he arrived. So the, they were trying their hardest to get their friend to give up the book, but he didn't give up the book. And since he didn't give up the book, there is no way to actually get rid of the book until there is a new arrival. In that case, the book changed. The book went blank. The spell that was on the book is gone. So now because of that, the guy who actually was reading the book, he didn't have the book anymore. He's he's just breaking out and like, no, no, it was a perfect story. It was a great story. No, no, this can't happen. It's like, God, it's time to go. It's time to go. You read the story. You have it in your mind. You can tell the world. And now they give the book to him. The guy was finally able to pass the book to him. As soon as he did it, the book reunited. And now there's pages in the book again. There's words in the book. So the dad starts reading the book and he's just can't put it down. So there he is sitting in the cold reading the book. Luca decides to let the two children to go look for their father. And as soon as they do it, Luca actually tells them that here's some advice. <clears throat> as you can see, I am a sorcerer and the wanderers actually had a spell. They actually had other things to keep them alive. You guys have the truth stone. So would you like to also have one more thing? <clears throat> and because they actually did a few more things to actually have some check boxes of the test, because there's many things that you could do right or you could do wrong. He also gave them the cloak of everlasting health or the cloak of everlasting warmth, whatever you want to go with it. And now they actually have something to keep themselves warm or something like that. It's like some kind of artifact that actually keeps them warm. So they go find their dad. They find their dad. And all he does is just keeps on reading the book. So the two children have no choice but to just sit with their dad as they read the book. Never to truly leave that spot ever again. Have a scary day. Have a scary night.